the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for the harmony. My dear students, my dear teachers, and members of the support staff, and our pastoral workers, and our family council officers, and our dear parents, a blessed morning to everyone. Peace and goodwill. Peace and goodwill. Today we celebrate our Holy Spirit Mass, which is one of the school masses that we look forward to every year at the beginning of the school. And Holy Spirit Mass is a Mass that marks of being a Catholic institution that the Holy Spirit that we invoke is to help us, to guide us, to lead us, to sustain us all through the activities of the school year. And in today's Holy Spirit Mass, we have heard the story of the Pentecost the coming of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. Our first reading today was an account of the coming of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. We know that what happened, they were in a closed room. They were terrified. They were scared. They were very uncertain. They were very anxious because they have lost Jesus in, in their presence. But then our Lord Jesus Christ made his promise and he kept his promise that is going to send the paraclete, the advocate, the Holy Spirit. To help them. It happened. In the day of the Pentecost. And suddenly from heaven. There came a sound. Like the rush of a violent wind. It filled the entire house. Where they were sitting. Divided tongues. As of fire. Appeared among them. And a tongue rested on each of them. Tignan nga natin kung merong mga tanks of fire. On this Holy Spirit that we have today, it would remind us again that these gifts, the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit are given to us. When we were confirmed, when we received the the sacrament of confirmation. But the problem is that we fail to recognize that the Holy Spirit is at work in our life. When we are not wise in the wisdom of God, then we don't live in the Holy Spirit. When we are not so pious and we forget already to pray, And we, we already forget to attend our obligations on Sundays and in our daily Masses. Then the Holy Spirit seemingly not working in us. If we have already, then when we tend to become ignorant and we fail to know things right, then seemingly the Holy Spirit does not work with us. If we're no longer good, but we become an influence or leading others to sin, 
or leading others to scandal. When we say, what is leading others to scandal? When we no longer lead them to what is right and to what is good. And that when we no longer becoming a counselor to one another. Seemingly, the Holy Spirit does not work in us. And if we lost the sense of courage to live and speak for the truth, when we close our eyes, when we close our ears, when we close our mouth, when we close our senses, so that we become an instrument of truth and justice, then seemingly we have lost our sense of being children of the Holy Spirit. And last, the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord, as we have heard a while ago, is the very beginning of wisdom. My dear Fatimanian students, we are celebrating this Holy Spirit Mass in humble recognition that we cannot do things without God's intervention. Hindi po natin kayang gawin ang mga bagay-bagay. Magagawa lang natin ang lahat ng bagay sa tulong ng Diyos at sa pamamagitan ng Espiritu Santo. Marami sa atin ang marahil nag naniniwala sa kaniyang sariling kakayahan lamang. We might be self-sufficient. We might be, we are self-capacitated. We can do in or, on, on our own capacity or we can do alone. We feel we can do alone. We feel we know everything. We feel we don't need other people. But here, the Holy Spirit is telling to us that we cannot do without the intervention and aid and help of God in us. Oh, what a beautiful and perfect Timing that on this Holy Spirit Mass is the induction of the club and class officers, which is very meaningful because the Holy Spirit will send you to do this great mission for our school activities. Na hindi kayo magtitiwala sa inyong kakayahan lamang dahil kayo na halal na pangulo siguro o kaya na halal na opisyal ng iba't ibang organisasyon at klase ng ating paaralan. But always have the humility to accept that you don't know everything. Accept that you have your limitations and accept that you're willing to learn and to grow and to make the most of it of this school year 2022-2023. Lastly, my dear students, my dear teachers and members of our support staff and pastoral workers, our dear parents who are here, and members of the Family Council, the Holy Spirit would remind us that this is the creative power of God in our community. The Holy Spirit is the very life and the very love of God in our community. That is why we continuously invoke that may this Holy Spirit guide us through 
this academic year 2022-2023. And may the life and love of God be with us through the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us always seek the Holy Spirit's guidance and intervention to us. When we seek the intervention of the Holy Spirit, we know that God will always lead us. God will always guide us. And God will always sustain us all through. And we know in God and with God in spirit, everything finds meaning and fulfillment. Amen.